Hello! Welcome to Coffee with the Librarians, week of August 20th, something like that. I have not been here for a while, and not that I need to explain why, but I want to explain why. I have really been processing and working with the librarians deeply on my own stuff and on myself. And I really wanted to honor that time and that space for me. And I just felt like having that external focus would conflict with the internal focus and the internal processing that I was trying to do. So I am back and ready to go with whatever they have for me, for you, wow, this week. Ah, okay, this is a lot. What they want to talk about is, there's like two different concepts here at the same time. I'm trying to formulate how to get it all out because it's the concept of moving in flow. It's the concept of going with the energy of what is instead of fighting and trying to bring in the energy that you don't want. The energy flows around us. They say, think about it as like currents of the ocean, the currents in the earth. The energy is flowing around us. If you were caught up in a current, okay, here's, this totally makes sense. If you're caught up in a current and it's the whole positive kind of current, which is the place that you want to be, allow yourself to be carried by that current. That is why it's so important to be in the right environment, to place yourself in the right environment, to choose the kinds of people that you want to be around because you will be caught up in that current. You are not a victim if you were in a current of negativity, if you're in a current of whatever it is. You waste so much energy. They're saying, precious humans, you are swimming upstream around this current trying to fight the whole thing when what you need to do is just exit that current. Just exit the current. Don't fight it the whole way. Just exit it. Accept that you're in the wrong place and that we are so driven to prove to ourselves that we can be in any place. Hmm. We're so driven to prove to ourselves that we can be in any place because we think it makes us worthy if we can fit into any place because we think it's important for us to be able to be in any place and that doesn't matter. What they're saying is there are many places, there are many currents. Pick the one that works for you and leave the rest behind because you want the energy of the people around you. You want the energy of your friends, the energy of your job, the energy of your community of whatever it is to be flowing, to carry you. And it's not that it's about being lazy. It's about being smart. So if you find yourself in the wrong current, exit the current. <laughs> There's no shame in that. It's not that you are less worthy or less worthwhile. Just exit the current and find a new one and then let, let that carry you. And what they want us to know is when it's a neat image that we're all linking arms. When we are being cur carried by a current, we are also carrying others. And what they're saying is you can't tell where your carrying stops and somebody else's carrying begins because we're all expending energy in the same direction. So it just makes it easier literally to flow that way. And that's why your community is so important because you're carrying others at the same time they are carrying you and it's symbiotic. And they're showing me again the whole like the, the idea of the yin yang symbol that it just fits and it's a natural flow. And when you've got that fit, the spiral, the spinning won't stop because it's perfectly balanced. Oh, interesting. Big download. Okay, this is going to be a little long. Sorry. The swastika. Originally, that symbol was a positive symbol because it represented that perpetual motion. It was hijacked and used, you know, by the Nazis for evil. And now the associations are definitely around it for evil. But they're saying it's that same concept, whether it's the yin yang or the swastika. It's it's that 
perpetual motion. And once you get in that current, get in that flow, life truly does start working out for you. And the thing that creates the most difficulties for us is when we intentionally choose the wrong current. We do that a lot. We intentionally choose the wrong current because we think it's going to somehow like make us better or more worthwhile if we choose that. And it's not. So find your current, find your current, be a part of that current and Quit messing with the other currents. That's really funny. They're saying if you look, they're showing me the map, like the current map of the ocean, of the ocean currents. They swirl around each other and it creates that hole. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. It creates the whole motion of Earth. You can't mess with other currents. If one current wanted to say, I'm the best and you all have to swirl this way, it's going to mess up our entire planet. You have to let other currents flow in their way. You have to just focus on your own and let the others be. It's not about bringing everybody into your way of flowing. It's about recognizing that all of the different flow and balance everywhere is what creates. Wow, that's amazing, is what creates that balance and that magic. So don't try to mess with other people's currents. Find one that works for you, stick with that, and let other people flow their same way. Ah, thank you. That was really good to be back. It felt amazing. Um, I can't wait to see you next week. And I've also had a few people ask, yes, I do this individually for you too. If you want a one-on-one reading with the librarians, uh, we can schedule that. I can send you the calendar link, the payment link, all of that. So just message me and let me know. Have an amazing week. Bye. Go flow. Flow your own way though.